Today we're going to, we'll be finding the slope given an equation and uh, the two equations that we're going to be looking at is the slope intercept form and the standard form, okay? Alright, let's get started. Okay. Um, just as a review, we said that there are two different types of equations that you deal with when you're finding slope. We said that you have the slope intercept. Form, which is y equals mx plus b, and we have the standard form, which is ax plus by sorry, equals c. Okay? When when you, um, in order to find the slope, the slope needs to be in slope intercept form. If it's in slope intercept form, you can immediately pick out the slope here. Okay? There's your slope. But when it's in this form, when it's in this form, um, you have to do a little work before you find your slope. Okay, so let's let's work some. Let's work some. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you had y equals negative four x minus six, since this is already in slope intercept form, we can immediately tell that negative four is your slope. Now I didn't say negative four x just negative 4. Just this is your slope. A lot of people make a mistake and say negative 4x is your slope. Well the slope is actually negative 4. That's your slope. Okay? If it was written like this y equals um, 8 plus 9x well it's, it's almost in slope intercept form. The only thing we need to do, well really, the only thing we need to do is switch these two and it will be, uh, we can write that as y equals um, 9x plus 8. And then we can immediately pick out our slope right here, which is 9. Okay? But what if, what if it was in standard form? Okay, let's look at standard form. What if you had, I'll get a marker all over me. Um, what if you had um, 2x minus 6y equals 12? Okay, we need, right, we need to write it in slope intercept form before we can find the slope because it's going to change a little bit. You may, you may think that, okay, um, I know that my slope is next to my x, so my slope must be 2. No, it's not. You have to put it in slope intercept form. Now, if you have not watched the video on um, slope intercept versus standard form, then watch that video and that will, I'll go through the process a little bit slower in that, in that video. But from, from this standpoint, I'm just going to take it from the, from the standpoint of you already watching the video on standard intercept to, I'm sorry, slope intercept to standard form, okay? So I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. They're going to cancel. That's going to leave me with negative 6y equals negative 2x plus 12. I'm going to divide um, both. I'm going to divide everything by negative 6, every term by negative 6. And I'm going, to, I'm going to go over that a little bit. I'm going to go over that. 
so you can see it a little bit better. That we divided every term by negative 6. Okay? We divided every term. You had 1, 2, 3 different terms. And I divided each term by negative 6. Okay? So, um, my my negative sixes are going to cancel. That's going to leave me with y equals negative 2 over negative 6x plus 12 over negative 6. That's going to leave, I can simplify this by writing y equals, um, that's going to give me positive 1 third x minus 2. Okay? Again, if you don't understand how I went from this step to this step, uh, please watch the video on um, slope intercept form to standard form, and I'll go in more detail on that video. But for right now, we're just, we're just finding the slope. So, um, since we have, right now, it's in y equals mx plus b form. So, um, we know right now that this is our slope, and if we want to take this a step further, we know that this is our y-intercept. So, we can write m equals one-third, and y intercept equals negative 2. Alright, let's work another one. I'm going to work this and then I'll let you work one, okay? Um, let's go with um, 5x. Let's make it a negative 5x here. Um, plus 2y equals 20. Okay? I need to change the standard form into slope-intercept form. So, um, I'm going to add 5x to both sides. The 5x is going to cancel. That's going to leave me with 2y equals 5x plus 20. Now I'm going to divide each term by 2. These 2's are going to cancel. That's going to leave me with y equals 5 halves x plus 20 over 2. Can I simplify any fractions? Well, I can't simplify this fraction. And, and some people think that they need to change this into, um, into a mixed number. Don't change it to a mixed number. Just leave it as 5 over 2. Don't change this into a mixed number, okay? But we can simplify this 20 divided by 2 into 10, right? So we have y equals 5 halves x plus 10. Well, our slope is going to be... 5 halves, and our y-intercept is going to be 10. So I can write m equals 5 halves, and the y-intercept equals 10. Okay, let me let you work one. I want you to find the, the slope and the y-intercept, okay? Okay, so um, let's go with um, 3x minus 6y equals 12. Okay. 
if you'll please freeze the video. Um, but before you freeze the video, let me explain what I want you, what I'd like you to do. I like for you to um, change the standard form into uh, slope intercept form, and then be able to tell me the slope and the y intercept. Okay, you can please um, put it on pause, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, first, I asked you to change the standard form into slope intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. I'm going to cancel. So negative 6y equals negative 3x plus 12. Now you should have divided every term, every term. I like to underline my terms to remind me I have three of them, okay? Into negative 6. The negative 6's are going to cancel. You're left with y equals negative 3 over negative 6x plus 12 over negative 6. It now looks like slope intercept form, but I can make it look even, make it, I can simplify this, okay? So y equals negative 3 divided by negative 6 is, 6 is a positive 1 half x and plus negative 12 over 6 is negative 2. So we know that our slope is 1 half and our y intercept is negative 2. So I can write that m equals one half and the y intercept equals negative two. Okay, I hope this video helped you. Um, if you have any concerns or uh, suggestions or comments, please email me at mathwithmoon at gmail.com, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.